It's coursing through you right now. And it's, it's us that throttles it. it it's us that, that determines how much flows through us. And usually a good way to uh, restrict it would be fear. Uh, fear is the ultimate restrictor of uh, healing energy uh, in our life. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. Hey, what's up? It's Case with Everyday Masters. I wanted to make a video on an email that I got. I am starting to get more of these emails and I sense a little bit of fear in them. So I just wanted to make a video. In fact, I'm gonna post this on my site so uh, maybe I can make people feel a little bit more at ease when they start to experience things like this. Uh, this is from Michelle in Australia. Hi Case, I'm getting in touch as I have a question about reconnective healing. I donated in December to join your monthly tune-up for the first time and had a pretty powerful experience with the energy. Last week, I did a group session earlier in the day and that night I did a Theta Healing Meditation and was surprised that I could feel the prickly energy during that too. I've done those before and haven't had that happen. This is super common. You're definitely going to find similar experiences like physical experiences when you're having these sessions and when you're in a deep meditation. Uh, you know, like maybe the eyes like flickering, you feel an electricity going through your body or you like feel like floating or maybe see colors or I don't know, every, we all experience something different. But um, this makes perfect sense because of the research that they've done on these frequencies when somebody's channeling these frequencies. Your, your average person lives their life in the beta state. That's like 12 to 36 hertz, like cycles per second. Um, I'll link a video in the comment section by Greg Braden. It is so informative. You'll, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about because I'm not, I'm not really a scientist. I just know uh, what's happening in my life. So, so anyway, they, they, they've done these studies where they hook people up to CT scans, MRIs, and they're testing their, their brainwave, what state they're in. And most people spend their time in the beta state and they just like, it's, a, it's people were accessing the brain at a very common level. So then they, they took meditators, monks from Tibet, and they found that when they hooked them up to the CT scans and the MRI scans, that they were actually in the gamma state. So the researchers measuring the activity of these monks using this new technology, they were surprised when they discovered, first of all, a brain state above the beta brain state. It began where the beta brain state ended at 36 hertz, and it extended as high as 44 hertz. They called this new brain state gamma. They were between, I think it's like 36 hertz or to 44, 36 to 44, and that's this feeling of like unity of just peacefulness, of feeling connected to the world. Um, and it's also a state, uh, the gamma state is what like an athlete will experience when they are in the zone. Like when, when you just kind of go blank and you just become um, the game that you're in. Um, so what they did then, now this is why you're gonna find a similarity. They brought in reconnective healing practitioners, that's, that's what I do, uh, who basically channel this frequency when they hooked the reconnective healing practitioner up, they went to a state above gamma. And they discovered yet another range of waves that had gamma characteristics, but this range extended far beyond the gamma waves that have been measured in the past. It went, listen to this, it went from 44 hertz all the way to 100 hertz. And in the video I'm linking, it's called hyper gamma. And I, I just, <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna go back to this email. The next day I joined another reconnective healing session, the group session. First time connecting back to back days. And after it felt like I couldn't turn the energy off and I had this prickly feeling almost sparking in my body throughout the day. It was pretty intense. I started to freak out a little. 
to the point where I went, into, I went on Google Doc and I tried to see if there was something physically wrong causing it. Would not recommend LOL. The next morning I woke up and I felt normal again. I've done the session since and the prickles, prickly feeling is contained during the session. This is what you want to happen. You want to, because when you're feeling these sensations, we are in, I'm saying we're in the hyper gamma state. We are in this, this place where you start to feel peaceful, where you start to feel like the universe has your back. You feel connected to everything around you. And when you start doing that, the, the world only can mirror back that feeling. And you quickly get momentum going in the right direction for your life. Um, I would not, you want this feeling. And the thing is, is like you get used to this feeling. So I'm always prickly. I, I, I can't feel it unless I place my awareness on it. It's like, there it is. It's, I'm feeling prickly. Um, you want this because it will absolutely change your life. Um, so back to this, I guess my question is, do you know this happening? And if it happens again, do I just go with it? I think I'm looking for some info or reassurance. Kindly, Michelle, yes, go with it. Just, this is all love. This is, this is about you falling into the flow of your life, feeling this sense of unity, this sense of peacefulness. That's what this is all about. And I guarantee you that if you lean into it and it amps up, um, you'll just get used to it and it'll be like no big deal. Um, yeah, I mean, I understand why people go into fear. Like, you know, if, if, if somebody, you know, had these strong registers, like doing like stomach crunches, you know, <laughs> during a session and then they go home and that night the stomach crunches continue and they, I, I can understand going into fear, but I guarantee you the next day, everything will be gone. You'll, 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 it'll be a good story that you can tell people. The way I look at it is this new energy, uh, it's an energy that includes light and information that it, it's coursing through everybody on the planet right now. It's coursing through you right now. And it's, it's us that throttles it. it it's us that, that determines how much flows through us. And usually a good way to uh, restrict it would be fear. Uh, fear is the ultimate restrictor of uh, healing energy uh, in our life. So um, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. And I know there's probably some people that are like, dude, she's feeling tinglys and you should get that checked out. No, dude, she's not feeling tinglys from being on the like, treadmill for too long. She's not like all of a sudden having like, you know, tinglys on the left side of her body. She's getting the tinglys during the session and they're continuing off and she's getting them when they meditate. Dude, this is what you want. This is, there's nothing to fear. Um, so, okay, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I made more fear. Maybe I created more fear by making this video. Okay, I uh, love you guys, and uh, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope your 2023 is off to a great start, and I will meet you in the field soon. Peace. Surfing on a wave of good feelings. Well, it's just another Friday in paradise. So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of time. Sipping strawberry lime, you know I wanna share it with you.